All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to this episode. The last week or so, I've actually been traveling the eastern part of the state and uh, in trying to keep with the name Fish Nevada. Obviously, I would like to fish other places in Nevada than just the direct area around where I live. So, we uh, took off for about a week and camped in Eagle Valley, Reservoir, which is Spring Valley State Park, and we fished both Eagle Valley Reservoir and uh, Echo Canyon Reservoir, uh, both of which were beautiful places. I highly recommend you go check those places out. The trip was phenomenal. Ended up doing a lot of hiking and just exploring and camping. It was fun, but we did manage to squeeze a little bit of fishing in. I had some pretty good fun, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, catch more content like this. If you did not check out my last video, it was at Rye Patch State Park, and I was catching some giant wipers. Um, all three of those actually hit the trophy class in Nevada, which is five pounds. I found out after I got home, there's a good chance that I'll be putting in for one of those again. And hopefully you guys enjoy this one. And we will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. That was good. Holy crap, I had a bite just there. <laughs> like right off the bat. Oh, they're largemouth. I can see one right now. Oh, a bit again. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, I was down here yesterday evening, and I probably caught 15 of them down, so I was able to get pretty nice rainbows, so. There you go. Up at uh, we're we're staying up at um, Eagle or Spring Valley. It looked yeah. like they were catching trout pretty good up there. That's a great lake. I love Eagle Valley Reservoir up there. Mm -hmm. and horse too. Oh yeah, I heard so they were catching smallmouth. Yeah. 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 There we go. First one of the day for me on the old weightless Robo Zipper Worm. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Certainly not biggins, but uh, numbers are going to be outstanding today. Missing the hook a lot though, so there's gonna be a lot of missed bites. Got that one that way, but all right, he's ready to go back.
nice. Another little guy. This one feels ever so slightly bigger. Help. For whatever reason, my audio cut out on my camera, and uh, there's just a few clips here that don't have any sound to them. So I had switched to this finesse-style trick worm, uh, just running it wacky. We're kind of trying a lot of different things because the bike kept changing, and so we ended up moving more and more finesse throughout the day. But the uh, wacky worm ended up getting a bite, uh, still the same size kind of category. These fish were very violent. Pretty much every time you'd catch one, they would push your baits like all the way up the line. But it was really fun. I mean, they were hard fighters for their size. Um, ended up trying to catch a few more on that uh, trick worm and kept missing bites. So I figured, okay, maybe the bait's too big. So I ended up switching to this robo worm. And it's just a little four and a half inch robo worm. And pretty much as soon as I switched to it, I ended up catching a bite and uh, managed to get the uh, hook to stick on this one and ended up getting a uh, another one pretty much the same size. Uh, this one was actually ever so slightly bigger but uh, I ended up having to make the switch again and switch to a little white swim bait just nose hooked with a wacky hook and that one pretty much got creamed right off the bat so I thought okay this is gonna be a key lure now and I switched uh, switched to that and ended up sticking with it but uh, pretty much after that the bite just shut off so audio is about to come back we're actually gonna switch reservoirs so the next clip will be Eagle Valley Reservoir and uh, there will be sound again after this so so stick with this one and uh, we'll get back into the regular video. Look, are your glasses good enough to see all those flashes right there? There's a whole school of trout swimming through. So weird, those fish are like following it all over the place, but they're not, like they're nipping at it and stuff, but they're just not eating it. They're super interested. This one's definitely better than the ones from earlier. Nice. A largey on the weightless robo worm. A Aaron's magic. Definitely pre-spawn on that one. Big fat belly.
Robo worm strikes again. Same size as the other day, but never any less fun. Another one, right off the bushes. Look at those parasites on his tail. Size-wise, meh. Numbers-wise, freaking awesome. Trying to see if there's a different technique that they want. I had to just wait. I watched him pick it up. Break out the old four inch Senko just to get him to bite something like the weed guard didn't even break off. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're a slow bite right now. to watch him. <laughs> Watched him nab it. Ouch. Ouch. Gosh dang it. We do not want to play nice. Get him back real quick. Get all that sand off of him. Basically sight fishing these things. All just little cookie cutters. And I was watching that, like they were hitting it so close to the shore that I could see them eat it. Hmm? Huh? He's stuck again. See that? You see the fish over there? Oh, <laughs> I can just see their like light sides coming up and eating it.
<laughs> oh gosh. There we go. Much more. Ouch. Stop. Much more active right here. It's a little better one there. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Nothing crazy size-wise at all. That one up at uh, Eagle Valley was actually the biggest one of the trip for me, uh, which was a pretty decent fish. It probably pushed just over a pound. I mean, that's pretty good for the bass world, honestly, for where we're at. I was happy to catch him, honestly, when you get into those days where you're just catching numbers and you're just catching, 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 that can be far more fun than size sometimes. Plus, Miss Fish Nevada um, ended up catching her first fish ever. She's never caught a fish before, so that was a pretty cool thing for her to catch on her on that trip. Maybe getting the wheels turning, maybe she'll be fishing a little more with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to go uh, check out those parks if you have a chance. Um, explore a little bit of the state. See what it's got to offer. There are some pretty cool fisheries around. And uh, I was really happy to go see some new ones. I really haven't spent any time in the eastern part of the state, so that was fun to go to. Uh, some really cool hikes over there as well if you guys are into hiking. And... Uh, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Be sure to subscribe right at the end here. There's going to be a little link in the corner of the screen. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. And uh, otherwise, we will catch you on the next one. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching.